Are you in search of the best Android phone? Well, your search ends here. The upcoming Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Google Pixel 8 Pro are undoubtedly the contenders in 2024. However, what sets them apart? Which one should you choose? It's a matter of days until January 17th, 2024, when Samsung will officially introduce the Galaxy S24 series. Leaks and rumors have already given us an idea of what to expect. Additionally, Samsung has teased their Galaxy Eye as well. The S24 Ultra will also be the phone in the US to feature the anticipated new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, along with some camera system enhancements, including an improved zoom camera. Let's compare all of this with what we know about the Pixel 8 Pro. It appears reasonable to assume that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will have the same design to its iterations with a squared shape, a rear camera setup consisting of four lenses, a metal frame, and glass panels on both the front and back. The display is expected to have bezels and a punch hole front camera. Certain features like IP68 certified water resistance are likely to be carried over from Ultra models and aligned with the Pixel 8 Pro. However, there are rumors of traits, such as using a titanium frame to the iPhone 15 Pro, which adds style points and improves the strength to weight ratio compared to the Pixel's aluminum frame. This material change also suggests that the S24 Ultra may have a profile and weigh less than before despite having dimensions overall. Reports indicate that it could weigh 233 grams. Additionally, unlike the Pixel's corners and conventional phone appearance, the Galaxy has corners resembling a passport-like shape. While Samsung is known for delivering displays, the Pixel series has not always been as renowned in this aspect. However, Google has stepped up its game with the new actual panels featured in both models of the Pixel 8. The Pixel 8 Pro with its 6.7-inch Super Actual OLED screen offers a resolution of 1344 by 2992, a refresh rate ranging from 1 to 120 Hz, and an impressive peak brightness of 2400 nits. In comparison, the current S23 Ultra peaks at 1750 nits. Despite being expected to have a 6.8-inch panel, it is likely that the S24 Ultra will maintain the QHD Plus resolution as its predecessor while still achieving sharper visuals than the Pixel despite its size. It is also expected to feature a refresh rate ranging from 1 to 120 Hz and may incorporate a new and more efficient M13 OLED panel along with a reported peak brightness of up to 2600 nits to match the capabilities of the Pixel's display. Additionally, it's worth considering the inclusion of Samsung's S Pen, which adds input functionality to their Ultra Series smartphones along with support from integrated and third-party apps for writing, note-taking, illustration purposes, and more. The Galaxy screen also incorporates the Gorilla Glass Armor Glass, whereas the Pixel opts for the slightly older Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Samsung is also transitioning back to a flat screen. There will be just a very tiny curve on the glass, but nothing like in previous years, and the Pixel 8 Pro is also using a flat display. It seems that the time of curved screens is going away. As for biometrics, both rely on a fingerprint scanner built inside the screen, but the Galaxy is expected to use an ultrasonic one, while the Pixel uses an optical fingerprint reader, which might blind you at night and is generally not quite as fast. Both these phones seem to have eye at their cores. Samsung teases new Galaxy Eye features on the S24 will allow you to zoom with better quality and perform some cool photo editing tricks. The Pixel has had the Magic Editor though, with its own bag of magic editing tricks too, and it also uses AI extensively. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is expected to become the first mainstream phone to launch with Qualcomm's latest and greatest creation, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, while Google relies on its own Tensor G3 chip. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 already outpaces the Pixel 8 Pro's Tensor G3 chip in terms of raw power and gaming, even if you're highly unlikely to run into performance issues in day-to-day -day use with Google's phone. As such, the upgrade no doubt destined for the Galaxy will make it the superior buy for those who want as much horsepower as possible and are serious about gaming too. As far as performance is concerned, the Snapdragon chip is much more powerful and rumors say it is quite power efficient too. Let's not rush to conclusions before we test this, but this chip sounds very promising.
One big if, however, is that Samsung might go back to using two different chips depending on the market. In the US and most other markets, the Galaxy S24 Ultra should get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but in some countries consumers might get a different version powered by a Samsung-made Exynos processor that could be slower. The other big difference between these two is the software. For the longest time, Samsung was the trend setting in the Android camp when it came to long-term support across OS and security updates, with four years of the former and five years of the latter promised to the majority of its latest Galaxy smartphones. Until the Pixel 8 series arrived, Google trailed behind with the offer of three and five years, respectively. But with the Pixel 8 Pro, you get a lengthy seven years of support, meaning Samsung will hopefully rise to the challenge with the S24 Ultra, even if we've not heard anything concrete on this front yet. As for the looks and styling, the Pixel goes with a clean Android style with no bloatware, but also some Google elements that you cannot remove from your home screen, while Samsung goes for its own styling with One UI 6, and it has a few more power user features and customization options. Samsung and Google take two different paths towards achieving great image quality. Although the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra's cameras are expected to follow in the S23 Ultra's quad rear camera arrangement, there's talk of ditching the 10x zoom 10 megapixel sensor in favor of a 50 megapixel 5x periscopic telephoto, along with the existing assortment of a 200 megapixel main, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 10 megapixel 3x telephoto cameras. Seemingly an odd move if true, as it would cut the optical zoom range of the S24 Ultra short compared to the S23 Ultra, though the sensor looks set to have a big upgrade. However, it still matched the Pixel 8 Pro, which features a triple rear camera setup of its own, with a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel 5x telephoto. Even with the shorter optical range, one of the S24 Ultra's rumored new AI-enhanced abilities will be the promise of 10x optical quality zoom, which sounds a lot like the Pixel's Super Res Zoom, which uses the company's intelligent image processing to improve the quality of what are essentially digitally zoomed shots being combined with high-resolution non-zoomed shots. Such expected AI enhancement is relatively new, at least from a branding standpoint, for the cameras on Samsung's phones, but is already commonplace on the Pixel, with the 8 Pro packing in an improved Magic Eraser, as well as the powerful new generative Magic Editor. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is likely designed to rise and meet the Pixel in this department, with the ability to reframe subjects in the shot, similarly to the 8 Pro generatively fill in what's outside of the original image's field of view and tune both photo and video quality, with AI support all being bandied about. Both the S23 Ultra and Google Pixel 8 Pro find themselves on a rundown of the best camera phones currently. And while the S24 Ultra could be a slight departure from the recipe Samsung has stuck to for the past couple of years, there's little doubt that it won't make its way on there too, while also challenging the 8 Pro photographic features set in areas that other rivals simply don't. It's said that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will arrive with a sizable 5,000 mAh battery, like the previous model, while the Pixel 8 Pro cell clocks in at a whisker larger at 5050 mAh battery. Using the S23 Ultra's screen on time of an impressive 8 hours, and considering that the S24 Ultra is expected to have similar enough internals to warrant comparative power demands, save for a more powerful but more efficient chipset, things are only likely to remain the same or get better where the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra's battery life is concerned. By comparison, despite the larger cell and a chipset built on a similar foreign architecture, the 8 Pro and its Tensor G3 only delivered 5.75 hours in our review, meaning the S24 Ultra will likely lead by quite some margin. As for recharging, Samsung might have the lead there too, with an expected 45 watts wired and 15 watts wireless charging, to the Pixel's 30 watts wired and up to 23 watts wireless charging, provided you're using Google's own second-gen Pixel stand otherwise wireless recharge takes place at a peak 12 watts. In practice, the S23 Ultra and Pixel 8 Pro both surpassed 50% charge after 30 minutes, so despite the wattages cited, the difference there might not be quite significant. All in all, much like its predecessor, power seems to still be the name of the game, and the main thing the Galaxy S24 Ultra will lord over the Pixel 8 Pro. 
However, Samsung isn't stopping there, it seems, encroaching on Google's existing offer of mobile eye smarts across productivity and photography. While the curves of the Pixel 8 Pro will suit many, the hard-edged aesthetic of Samsung's last three ultras will likely sway others, while some might be enticed by its more exotic titanium build over the Pixel's more conventional aluminum frame. Both phones have or seem likely to deliver a great viewing experience, and if the S24 Ultra lives up the leaks, then its superior battery life and charging, as well as its ever-unique S Pen, make for a more compelling smartphone experience than what Google offers. That said, those who dislike clutter or having to pay absolute top dollar may agree that the Pixel 8 Pro is far better value for money, especially if Samsung doesn't catch up to Google's enhanced software promise. It's early days for any conclusion drawing, but if the rumors come to fruition, we'd be very surprised if the Galaxy S24 Ultra doesn't top our best Android phones list, with it likely appealing to people who want a high-end hardware and software experience with few if any compromises. In contrast, the Pixel 8 Pro is a great phone, but its appeal tends to be more for fans of unfettered Android and AI smarts. So, which one do you think would be the AI king of 2024? Let us know it down below in the comments section, and for more updates you can check out our channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out. Mm-hmm.